everybody, Michael Tiny Saul. It is Tuesday, April 12th at 10.37 p.m. And this is Forex Analysis for Wednesday, April 13th, 2011. Feel free to contact me here, follow my blog here, and follow me on Twitter here. Okay, coming into Tuesday, I was in more of a wait and see mode, but there turns out to be some there turned out to be rather some pretty good volatility in some of the pairs and crosses. Let's look at the euro. The euro rejected its range twice, uh, both the downside and the upside. This was the kind of candle I was looking for on Monday. Instead, it was a, a real narrow range candle. So um, if you look at the real body of this candle, it's almost the same as Monday's here. So basically, we are in that consolidation chop mode that I was looking for here on the euro. I am still in wait and see on this one. I want to give this at least one more session to set up, and then I'm more than likely going to be using Tuesdays, um, the Tuesdays extremes of the range for a potential trade entry. But uh, we're going to watch this one for another session. Here's the Aussie dollar. The Aussie dollar pulled in quite nicely from um, its move outside the counter, but now uh, it's probably due more of a digestion day on Wednesday. Here's the dollar yen. The dollar yen, okay, had an ugly down day on Tuesday, should form a consolidation day on Wednesday. But watch this rising middle Keltner line here. That is more than likely the next support for this pair. Dollar Swiss, okay, for some reason it's not updating this candle. So give me one second, a little trick by the way, I'm going to do a reload on it, and you can see Tuesday had a nice candle to the downside. Wednesday is consolidating so far, but we'll see what happens. But this was a really nice move here, added on to uh, the beautiful gain that's already in this pair. Uh, we took the low here, 91.78 was the entry, and on Tuesday it went as low as 89.41 so it's rocket and rolling still looking to take out the last piece at this lower Keltner channel or if you're only in one piece move stops to lock in at least 150 pips at this point and look to exit it on a push down to the lower Keltner channel here's the loony alright it tagged the lower Keltner at the end of last week and now it's getting a nice rebound bounce watch this midline of the Keltner channel for potential resistance here's the euro pound cross um, I definitely missed the timing on this one I was looking for this one to break higher but I was waiting for some consolidation so this went without me upper Keltner channel is the target but unless it sets up here over the next few sessions it's gonna go without me I was looking for more more of a consolidation kind of move here rather than just a, a big break higher on Tuesday so missed that one here's the euro Swiss Tag the middle Keltner channel. Looks like it may want to digest here a little bit before it makes its next move. Euro Aussie broke out of the range that I had highlighted yesterday, but I was in wait and see mode. I wanted to see it form one more bar under that range and then break, but uh, sometimes <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing because it's all the time, not sometimes, all the time the market is on its own. The markets, whatever markets you're trading, are on their own schedule, not on yours, right? I was going to say something like, you know, the market's uh, sometimes not on my schedule, but it's never on my schedule. It's on their own schedule. They are the big tidal wave, and you are just a lonely surfer trying to uh catch a cool wave here but um a cool ride rather but uh, anyway now it looks like it may want to digest but you see how it's right on that middle keltner line this could form a nice little pattern here and wind up getting a, a further uh, push higher so watch this one here's the euro kiwi still not doing much sideways action the euro yen okay we were looking for this to pull in it did Actually, the Bulls put up a, a fight here at uh, at the 120 handle, and you can see now that it's uh, forming a consolidation pattern so far on Wednesday. Remember, Wednesday session starts Tuesday evening. The uh, Swiss yen 
real volatile day here. You can see that this, this is like the epitome of volatility, right? It goes to one end of the range and comes back, goes to the other end of the range and comes back and just forms this spinning can, spinning top candle. Now, a spinning top is a sign of uncertainty, and uncertainty is what kills directional trends. So watch this one. This one could be due a deeper pullback. Let's look at the RCN. Okay, the RCN had a pull in on Tuesday, Wednesday forming digestion so far. Watch this one has the middle Keltner channel uh, to pay attention to here for possible support. Here's the pound yen, pound yen with a big down day on Tuesday. On Wednesday, should get a digestion like day. Same deal, middle Keltner channel would be the support I'd be watching. Here's the pound Swiss. I was looking for the middle Keltner channel for potential support. Instead, it broke right through it. Now, this could be headed to the lower Keltner channel here. Here's Aussie Swiss held the middle Keltner channel. See what it wants to do from here. Here's Kiwi Swiss pulling in a little bit. Watch that middle Keltner channel for potential support. Here's CAD Swiss. Same thing. I was looking for this mid channel to mid channel line to hold. Instead, boom, right through it. But after expansion like this, I'm watching for consolidation, all right? And then finally, here's the New Zealand dollar uh, versus the CAD dollar, the Canadian dollar. And you could see a push out of the upper Keltner channel, came back down, and now on Wednesday, it's retesting that upper channel. So this one, uh, let's throw a channel up on here. And you could see this one may... Yeah, that's a bad. That's a bad upper line. It's a bad uh, top channel line. I mean, this looks better, but if if we count that, then it's it's breaking. So, I mean, you got the Keltner channel and you got these two parallel channel lines. So, watch this here to see if uh, it can get a breakout and get some expansion. If not, it may want to continue to to move in an upwardly choppy fashion. Okay, so that's it. I will do the next video with forex analysis for the 14th tomorrow. Have a great trading day on Wednesday.